Hello, everyone, and welcome to season three, episode four of Drunken Confessions. I am your hostess with the mostest, Cass. The mostest what? Don't even. <laughs> Don't even. I am your other host, Amy, joined by my husband, Jeremy. Hello. This very good looking man next to me. And of course, what would drunken confessions be without Dave the Enabler? I mean, probably better, but you know, I'm here probably. anyway. Probably. <laughs> yeah, that's what me. I was just gonna say. <laughs> you know, I just wanted I wanted to beat Cass to it because I know she was gonna go there. All right. Yeah, I was gonna that. I was gonna say I was gonna call you something else. So I was letting Amy introduce you today. <laughs> so welcome you know. to Drunken Confessions. Yes, cheers. Woohoo! Tink. Welcome to Snowbegitten. Dude. I know. Like side streets and subs are still kind of screwy a day later, which is. Yeah, ours is pretty bad. bad. Mine's yeah, fine. Canton sucks. Trying to get off a of 94 to Belleville Road suck. Oh, yeah. So you had a, you, the other day you had an hour and a half drive home. How was today? I meant to ask. Uh, today was a lot better. Took me my normal 45 minutes. Okay. So that was good. That's good. Um, I I was attempting to go to work yesterday. I got up at 530. I kept looking outside and I finally texted my boss at 620 and was like, yeah, no. It's just not happening. I, I just, I can't do it. Like, I, no. I can't. It won't. Not happening. (laughs) And I actually told her, I said, honestly, I'm not even going to make enough today to pay my deductible if I crash. Right. (laughs) There you have it. It's all about balance. Apparently, Toby and Bailey wanted to be say hi to. They always do. So yeah, the snow was entertaining. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I shot you guys the screenshots that I took from the Nest cams at the downtown yeah. studio. Yikes! Um, I, I was impressed. I got down there today, and everything was all cleaned off. They even had the the parking lot was done. I mean, it's a dirt parking lot, and they still had it done, which was cool. That's good. Uh, yeah. So yeah, but uh, yeah, downtown there was still again some some of the side streets and that kind of stuff were a little bit sketchy. Um, I wound up going to Hamtramck uh, before I went to DSC because I, w- I was checking out the spot where we're going to build out a new video studio. Um, and wow, Ham, Tr- yeah, Hamtramck has not been touched. I don't believe like that. Like if you're on a one of the like the two or three main roads, you're good. Other than that, rots a rock. <laughs> yeah, my old house, uh, they never plowed the streets, but here they had the street plowed twice and salted by noon yesterday. So it was nice. Didn't have to worry about that. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I don't like living on such a busy street, but at the same time it has its pluses. Mm. Got its bonuses for you. Yes. Yes. yes, You know, when I left your house the other morning, it took me, I swear to God, it took me like 10 minutes to pull out. There was so much traffic. I was like, what the Mm -hmm. hell? Anybody yeah, sometimes it's really I've had bad. that same problem. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> nice, so, nice and- day. at the end of a cul-de-sac. <laughs> I was Anyhow. I was making a nope. joke about he was trying to play pull. off the pull-out game. <laughs> game sucks when you lose. <laughs> it absolutely does. Well, you got a couple kids. We know you're not that strong at it, so yeah, but I wasn't trying then. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I at least admit I wanted those two. There you go. I have oh. so many comments that I'm just going to keep to myself. Okay. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the snow was uh, a hot mess and um, I'm sorry, but did we totally min- miss Punchki Day? Yes. Yeah, I absolutely. Did you see like, okay, so I'm not a sweets person or whatever. So Punchki Day is never a big thing for me, but the fact that it came and went and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, and usually it's a, it's a big to do in Hamtramck. I mean, like, mm-hmm. you know, bands get their bars, get tense and there's bands and it's crazy and insane. And this year it wasn't, 
for obvious reasons. Um, mm-hmm. But I did. I, I like I I did. I wanted to be a trooper and I wanted to get down there yesterday because um, like Punchki Day last year was like the last thing I like the last public event that I did. Um, and, you know, so just it was kind of like an, an anniversary of sorts and, and wanted to make it down. And then I looked at all the roads and all the idiots on the roads and now nah, now nah, just just noped out. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I was I was bummed. Well, I don't I've never been one to go out for punch keys anyway, so. Oh, it's never it's never being out about the punch. So number so number one, the the fun is like Smalls uh, does uh, punch key bombs. Uh, mm-hmm. where they take punchkis and they cut them in quarters and then they load them up with vanilla vodka in addition to the filling. And oh my God, are those terrible and amazing. Uh, and and then, yeah, and then it's just, you know, it's the being out and about and it's a, you know, big, I think I, like I, I, I've, the only Polish I know in my life is the stuff that I've learned on that day whenever I've been down there. Out. Um, but yeah, so I mean, and it is, I mean, it's it's always a really good time and I am, I'm kind of bummed that it wasn't a thing this year, but there's always next year. There is. There's always next year. And I mean, yes. plus, let's be real. Like, do you really, Hopefully. what are they like? 6,000 calories each. I mean, they're, oh, right. I, I mean, mean, they're like, they're, they're, I mean, they're deep fried filled donuts. I mean, mm-hmm. and, and, and like, and huge, like they're bricks. Um, like the, I, I remember what, like, I think the first time I ever had one, I was like, I took a bite of it and I was like, okay, one, this is amazing Two, I'm never finishing this. Like, this is like, this is diabetes. Like this, it might as well come with a shot of insulin <laughs> with everyone. And right. Then, and then you have my husband who's like, yeah, I had like four of them. Oh no, I did. Say, that was one. <laughs> that was the first time since then. Like I, oh, I can put them away, <laughs> especially, oh, yeah. especially at smalls when they're in the form of a shot glass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All yeah, right. I can I can eat them as long as they're cream filled. I'm not a big jelly filled donut eater, but yeah, for sure. So I got to tell you, so the, the thing that cracked me up and it might be a little late because I know this is kind of old news, but the thing that cracked me up of listening to um, headlines was the the woman who gorilla glued her hair. <laughs> and oh, there's so much more to that story now. She ran out so of hairspray. She ran out of hairspray. She Gorilla glued it. She's suing Gorilla Glue, started a GoFundMe, raised thousands of dollars, which I don't understand. So she, oh, so heard, she raised 23. I heard a whole interview about, um, of her being interviewed. Um, so Dave might have more of an update because my the interview I heard was a few days ago. But her GoFundMe account apparently is to um, buy her wigs. So yes and no. So what she has said is, I believe, so I believe it raised twenty three thousand um, dollars as of the last time I the, the story. Okay. Her. And she was, I believe, keeping three uh, to cover her medical expenses, wigs, and that kind of stuff, and then actually donating the other twenty. Um, to a nonprofit organization that uh, that provides like uh, surgical services for kids in need, that kind of stuff. So I mean, on that oh, front, well, that's a plus. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes, definitely. But so, but here's here's where I have an issue. Uh, so she uh, like here's the thing. Like, remember the good old days when people did something dumb. And then they would just disappear, like because they were embarrassed about what they did and they went into hiding over it. No, this woman, because let's let's be real, like taking a look, taking a look at a thing of Gorilla Glue and saying, yep, I'm going to put that in my hair. Kind of a dumb move. Uh, Anyone who's used Gorilla Glue knows. Right. And she had it in the house. So she knows what it's for. And I get that there are products called hair glue. And I get that they, like I, I understand the context and all that other stuff. I'm just saying using Gorilla Glue was a dumb move. Right. Uh, and and so but no, she has not disappeared because she's embarrassed about it. No, she has, like you mentioned, filed a lawsuit. Uh, she has a management team. She has an agent. Uh, she is trying to launch a clothing line. <laughs> Uh, and, and like, this is, this is my, this is my aneurysm inducing moment. I'm like, why can we stop making people who do dumb shit famous? Like even for 15 minutes, like I'm just, I'm over it. 
Like if we would have never known about Kim Kardashian, I'd be a happier, happier person. Paris Hilton, same deal. Uh, the Chewbacca catch mom. Catch me outside, girl. Catch me outside, girl. Yeah. How about yeah? Done. Like I just, don't even know her name. I, I just know she's a yeah. girl. Although no, but- I had a memory on Facebook that popped from like six years ago yesterday. And it was if you know the real name of this girl, and it was a picture of the catch me outside girl, but you don't know who your local legislators are, you're the problem. <laughs> ding ding ding. Right. Well, so we were talking about that. So Amy and I got on the topic of warning labels. And so I looked up some of the funnier, but quite real warning labels. And so I wrote some of them down because I thought it's interesting to wonder who did what to make this warning label, to make this warning label. I've always said, if I have to, if there has to be a tag on your hair dryers that says, do not use in shower. That do not use while sleeping was a big one too. That said, on that means that someone tried to use their hair dryer while in the shower right. and probably sued. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, some other good ones on a baby stroller. Remove child before folding. Oh damn. I, but what if you're trying to get your kid into gymnastics? Right. I'm like, who <laughs> parent of the word of word right there, huh? Um Another one for children in a dishwasher on dishwashers. It says, do not let children play inside dishwasher. How else are you going to clean them? I was like, what, <laughs> they, what, what if you're trying to give them a bath? Like, yeah, let's, well, they should try. do it. <laughs> who's, who's Sandy wash? <laughs> on an iron, there's a warning label that says, do not iron while wearing your clothes. Oh, I, I have. I, I, I have seen that one. And that's no. one of those ones that made me realize that, yep, somebody tried to do it and somebody sued. And... Oh. Um, on a jet ski, this one I liked. It says never use a lit match or open flame to check fuel levels. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Somebody needs to be told that. That's wow. real specific. <laughs> so it makes I was like, you yeah, wonder... that's, that's an agreement from a lawsuit that. Yeah. that oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> And um, a laser. Awesome. They are on a toner cartridge for a laser printer. It says, "Do not eat." Oh. On an iPad, Apple iPad, it says, "Do not eat." Or not iPad, um, iPod. That's coming from that um that reality show. I've never watched it, but like my weird obsessions or my oh yeah my yes yeah where people eat like um pika. That's, it's it's called like, uh, that's actually a, a disorder. It's called pika yes. or pika, um, yeah. where people eat weird shit. Yeah. So I guess people eat. I mean, hey, cartridges and I mean, iPads or iPods. They were eating Tide Pods, so you go. You know, it's a short from Tide Pod to iPod. Oh, that, it's a short. You know yeah. Just just let them let the general selection take himself out. Like right. well, so and that goes along. Nature take its course. Quit putting warning labels on things if you're that dumb to do it then just <laughs> let, let darwinian evolution do its thing yeah well like the cups of coffee you get from crazy. mcdonald's it says, it says contents may be hot well that's yeah, hot coffee the lawsuit. yeah yeah um a couple more a pepper spray says make me your tate eyes <laughs> may <laughs> well i hope so that's the whole point of the fucking pepper spray um, on the outside of an egg cart, cart, carton of eggs, it says this product may contain eggs. What? Mm-hmm. Like, you know the one that I, I, and I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry if this is on your list, but the one that has always confused me is, is on a Q-tip package. You're not supposed to use it in your ear. Right. Oh, yes. So if what, what the hell are you supposed to use Q-tips for? <laughs> Well, like I use them for like makeup and oh yeah, and stuff like that. Weren't they originally for applying Um, makeup? But you're not supposed to use your ears are only supposed to be cleaned with like a wet washcloth. Yes, that's actually false. (laughs) There, um, I know. I just have uh, something. I know something Dave didn't know. I have two more, and then then we can move on. There is on a bottle of dog medication. It says, um, "Use care when operating a car." 
What? Because my dogs are going to go drive a car. Because people might take it. Wow. Then the last but not least, my favorite, on rat poison. It says, this has been found to cause cancer in lab mice. <laughs> so it's, oh, it's, that's not, that's so inhumane. It's a slow death. It's, it's, yeah. We're going to kill them. Says, I guess it can cause cancer. We're going to kill them, but it's going to take a while. Right. And, and like, I wasn't aware they had like mice chemo, but, uh, but maybe that's a thing. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. But then Amy and I got to talking about what kind of warning labels we would give each other. Well, because I feel like with all the stupid fucking labels, warning labels on products, why haven't we come up with a system that gives humans warning labels? Mm -hmm. Like, so for example, like when I'm at work and in the customer service industry, they should have a warning label. Super nice. Super asshole. Woke up on the side, wrong side of the bed. Like should have a warning label so I know how to treat that customer. <laughs> right. Like Dave's should should say views are not or what is it? What does it say? Views are not uh, views those opinions expressed the, by Dave are not necessarily those <laughs> of drunken confessions. Exactly. We need that warning label like running along the bottom of your screen right there. Honestly, I feel like mine should say warning uh, may cause drunkenness. Yes. There was another one that we thought of for you is may cause alcoholism. No, not alcoholic. No, alcoholics go to meetings. They're just drunkenness. But yeah. Speaking of cheers. Alcoholics, <laughs> alcoholics need a drink. I have a drink. Right. <laughs> so Cass's warning label would be, um, con or, oh, how did I word it? Damn it. Um, we'll use explicit language. You got the parental right. advisory warning. Yep. Oh yeah, I should definitely come with one of those. <laughs> and and Jeremy's is uh, beware cuteness overload. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna go with caution, maybe high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Amy's may <laughs> may break out in tears when drinking. That's a good one. Yes, because you you do. And if Amy drinks too much, she starts crying. I do. I, yeah. I was going to go with libel to fall. Yes. <laughs> because bitches be tripping. Trip hazard. <laughs> bitches be tripping. You fall hazard. Okay, okay. <laughs> We can keep going, Amy. I, well, honestly, I was I was going to say I Cass Cass's warning label should read, uh, you know, something along the lines of, you know, caution uh, will be bitchy under the guise of pretending to be funny. Oh, no, I don't pretend to be funny. I am funny. <laughs> Let's see. I rest my case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm funny. I definitely am funny. It's a true story. Yeah. So the other things we were talking about is what else should come with besides warning labels. We talked about oh. dating sites. Well, yeah, before we get to that, I do, oh. I do wish that people really did come with warning labels because do you know how much time I would save? Like in the relationship? I, like, like not, kind of like a mood ring, but like um, a mood like t-shirt, like something that yeah, just like, like displayed your current state of mind, you know, you're, you know, you like, if you're already tense and uptight or, you know, Hey, really having a shitty day, uh, you know, or, you know, Hey, overly perky. Um, I dude, I would love to have an overly perky warning label on some people's foreheads. Cause it made, you gotta be ready for those people. Like it's not, a, it's not always a negative, but like those super upbeat, like crazy perky, happy people. Oh, and you're like seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, dude, you're, you're like, like, I, I, I need you, dude, take a Prozac, do something, <laughs> like have a shot. Jesus tapped into Christ. Like, would you Let's tone it down about 50% here? Come on. <laughs> right. Like, what in the hell? Like, how are you, like, or more to the point, whatever you're on, share. Like, <laughs> oh, so I just got a new one for Dave. Proceed with caution. Like, <laughs> you never know. That's true. 
That's right. Don't don't walk a mile in my shoes. We're going to wind up at a bar. (laughs) (laughs) Which and it's it's scary. So I thought it was bad uh, that the uh, the audio studio that we have in Hamtramck is about two blocks away from Whiskey in the Jar. The new video studio is literally a block away. Oh, you're in, nice. <laughs> you're in trouble. Just what you need. So, and 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 is going to have Airbnb capabilities. So I'm not like I I may never I just might move to Hamtramck. We'll see. <laughs> that would be funny. You know, you need to move to Southgate. The rest of us live here. Uh, see, I just feel like I I feel like I can't because like everybody's doing it. And so, like, I have to be like the goth kid and like stand out a little bit, which, oh, my God. So I did. I can't I, I can't remember if I told you. I think I told you guys this. My 11 year old son comes to me and wants to do his hair half and half, like half black, like jet, like goth black and half like super bright pink. And I, I was and I had to, I'm like, no. And he was like, well, what do you mean? No. Like you told me I should express myself and that kind of stuff. I'm like, look, you can. But I don't make the rules. You have to pick one. You cannot be both goth and emo. And and like so that led to probably a 30 minute discussion of the differences between goth and emo. <laughs> but yeah, so that was... play music, different types of music. Exactly. Like like, do you want to like do you want to uh, like are you sad or are you like just pretending to be sad? Like that's goth versus emo. Like, do okay, you want? So- do you want to be dark brought, or do you want to sparkle? That just brought um, to me uh, our first drunken confession. Okay. Okay. Um, so for Jeremy and I, it doesn't count because we don't have kids, but for you guys, what is the worst thing um, that your child, you think that your child could come to you with? Like that would just destroy your life. Uh, dude, I have a 13 year old daughter. Dad, I'm pregnant. And I, I, I don't think I shared it. I don't think I shared it on here, but I, I think, I, again, I think I told you guys, yeah. um, I do. I have a really good relationship with my daughter. And so when she came to me um, about a situation, like I was not ready for, a, I, like, I think it's cute that kids today still refer to it as losing your V card um, when, when you lose your virginity. But I was not ready for a conversation with my daughter that involved that phrase for the record, even though it was not about her, but still. You know what? Um, on that point, I, I am like super impressed, Dave. Congratulations that your daughter is comfortable going to her dad and talking mm-hmm. to her about that. I feel like you need to win an award. <laughs> so What's, kudos to good. you. Hey, it's like I said when I was talking about the hair thing with the with the with my son. Dude, I'm the cool dad. I'm just not the jackass do whatever you want, dad. Like, no, <laughs> like they're <laughs> like I, they, I absolutely want them to talk to me and, and I will rationalize when I say no and explain to them why. Like I the one thing I definitely try not to do is to play the because I said so card because I feel like that's a cheap cop out. And I always hated when like my parents did that to me. Um, but yeah. So, Cass, what um, would be your worst moment if one of your kids came up and said something to you? Like, wh- like I killed a person. I'm going to jail for the rest of my life. Something like that. That would have to be. A, I mean, I've already dealt with a lot with my kids. They're all grown now. So, you know, I got three grandkids. So it's not like the, the pregnancy card's going to bother me. <laughs> So yeah, it would have to be something pretty bad. Or, you know, actually, if you want to go on a later note, if one of them was going to move out of state, that would devastate me if, if one of my kids moved away and I couldn't see him. I know my son talked about moving to Florida once and I said, okay, well, when are you going to come back and see your kids? Because you're not taking them. <laughs> they stay so, with me. You're staying with grandma because I'm not, you're not taking my grandkids away. <laughs> I think I want to move to a state that has less humidity and not more. Well, you don't want to move to Texas. That only happens once in a century. Whatever. Or Florida right. or, yeah. Did you, okay, so I saw this video online, speaking of Texas. Mm-hmm. I saw a video online and they were like, so all you Southerns that call it soda, that left your soda in your car and then you got a deep freeze and it busted. And you wonder why us Michiganders call it pop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that makes sense. 
I it actually that does. So funny. Because I think everybody's left a soda in their in their car at one point in time or in their fridge or oh, freezer. Remember, do you remember when I left that um, beer in your freezer? <laughs> <laughs> My beer was all over her freezer. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, that's what happens when you buy warm beer and you come over and you decide to throw a bunch in the freezer so that they could get cold. Yep. And then, you know, you forget one. It, it happens. happens. I have, happen. I've had a Coke explode on my front seat before because mm-hmm. I was stupid and left it in there overnight. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've all been there. Not, yeah. It's not a fun time. Right. So, I mean, it's okay. As long as it hasn't warmed back up, like as long as it stays frozen and you can just scoop all of the orange slushy yes. or the Coke slushy out of your car, then you're good. But if it warms up and it has started to melt again, then that's when it's sticky, a problem. Icky. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody likes that shit. All right, Amy. So. So um, it's, we were talking about like warning labels and yes. all that stuff. Now, none of us are single, obviously. None of us are on dating apps. Well, I hope uh, not. <laughs> I, I hope none of us are on. Not since apps. Ashley Madison went down. <laughs> Um, but it made me think like, I have a lot, I do have single friends and they're telling me their experiences with dating apps and meeting people. And I'm like, I swear to God, they should have a rating system on dating apps. There should be like, like everyone, there should be like Yelp. Yes. yes. So like, like built into the dating app. On, you go on yes. Amazon, you go on Yelp, you can read the reviews. Mm-hmm. That should be a thing on dating apps, like read reviews. You should be able to, the small dick, bitch ass, a, a bitch, she's psycho. Right. Like, <laughs> I give this one three out wanted, of five stars. <laughs> yeah, wanted to commit after two deeds. That's right. One star would not do again. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> do I not am, recommend. <laughs> I am shocked. That these single people haven't figured out you need a rating system. Yes. Yes. Is it only us that aren't single and not like on dating apps thinking of these things? Yes, because if you like, because the dating app would have a lot of issues because they would have a lot of people getting zero rate or, you know, one star <laughs> ratings and they wouldn't be on there. So yeah, like it would cut their, it would cut their uh, population way down. Like a Uber driver or a, a Lyft driver, you can be like, oh, he was a good driver. I give him five stars. I give him four right. stars. Right. Um, okay, so he he was cool. Four stars. He yeah, was right. really cool, but we had no chemistry. Good in bed, but not the committed, not the uh, marriage type. Marriage type. Good lay, partially retarded. <laughs> Three stars. Laid there like a starfish the entire time. One star. <laughs> I don't know how any nobody has come up with a system yet. You know, I, like I, I think it would be amazing, and I'm and I'm stunned. And, and well, and, and uh, let's be real, like I'm sure that somewhere there's like a Reddit thread something dedicated to this. Well, there is like rate my butt, and well, I mean, oh, I mean, all the way back to like hot or not and all that crap. Um, you know, that's mm-hmm. always been a thing. But like, but I do. I think you're right. I think the reason why you don't see it in the app is because well we do we live in a yelp world and everything is either one star or five star like there's no like there's no medium anymore like it's not hey you know what i went i had the steak it was what i expected and cool and i moved on nobody leaves that review it's either i am the angriest person ever or i am the happiest person ever and i feel like a dating app review system would tend to cater to angry people like i i feel like yeah i i feel like that would be who would be all over it wouldn't that be awesome too, though, if you could get, click on somebody's profile and be like, let me see how they rate other people. And you could get like, that would even be another filter. Like, oh, okay, dude. Yeah. So uh, like I'm it would show person. somebody else's ratings of other people. too. Oh, yeah. so, so you dude, would be like, was, OK, the, that person's a psycho. Yeah, so the show <laughs> yeah. that, so the show that Bob and I did making fun of one star Yelp reviews, worst meatball sandwich ever. One of the things we would always do when we were mocking somebody's one star review is go look at other things they reviewed. 
and uh. and it was hilarious. Like there was one of the thing, one of the common consistent, like it was consistent almost almost a hundred percent of the time. Whenever somebody left like a really badly worded one star Yelp review about a place, they also had always left a shitty review for either a car wash or a McDonald's or some other fast food joint. Like it just like I don't know I don't know why that was a point of commonality, but like that was always a thing. That, that, that just absolutely kills me, and it cracks me up because you always get those psychos, you know. And you would get that with the dating app, you know. You'd always get that psycho that's like, oh, they wouldn't give me this for free. <laughs> well, yeah, or you know, hey, you know, or you get the situation where like somebody lies on their dating profile or whatever, um, you know, and then you know gets lit up about it, and then you've got it, or or somebody claims that somebody lied on their lie on their dating profile. Mm-hmm. And then you got to deal with issues about libel and slander and da da da. So, I mean, I, I yeah. get why they don't have it, but I do. I, I think it would be hilarious. And, and I do. I, when we were chatting about this the other night while drinking, I'd, I'd via Zoom, just to be clear, because that's, that's the, we're all safe and secure. Uh, the, uh, I do what I love. I, I loved, uh, it, it, like, it really only, I think we came up with a better system for women than men. Um, cause I do. I, I think the, uh, I think instead of stars, you would go with tacos. Uh, you know, was, 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 was that a five taco night? Was it a one taco night? Yeah. And uh, guys, you would get eggplants. Yeah. And, you know, is, is it a one eggplant or is it a five eggplant? Um, but, and, and, but then I did, I, and then you could, and then, cause that's the thing when we got into it with the whole women rating thing, like, well, is it a soft taco? Is it a hard taco? Is it a taco Supreme? Is it? <laughs> well- the other thing you would have to do is you could also do to where you would have like individual categories to kind of keep it a little bit tapered. You know, like when you when you go to rate a hotel, it'll ask you cleanliness. Oh, yeah. It'll ask you, you know, um, oh, cleanliness, oh, yeah, yeah. things like oh, yeah. that. So you would have to have that, too. You'd have to have that rating. You know, is this person clean? Do right. they look like their profile pictures? Yeah. Right. Body, <laughs> body, five tacos, personality and intelligence, one. Right. <laughs> right. You know, this is a we talked about it in public now. Someone's going to steal this idea. We just I know millions. Um, we shouldn't have talked about this. No. Second. Give it to the world to make the world a better place. Go <laughs> right, right. Because none ain't none of us gonna write the the program for it. <laughs> this is true, true story. But that would be that would be cool. You could have you know stamina. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 All the different yeah. categories. So that's what I think about is just which categories would I? You know what categories would I come up with for it? For sure. It would be fun. Uh, but yeah, so I, I do. I, I absolutely love that idea. I, I think it's so uh, if anybody wants to like actually write this program, please get Cass and I to help you. Yes. Because we have some great ideas for it. Of course. Of course we do. We're seasoned. You guys don't even use the app. Well, actually, I'm more seasoned than Amy because I think I've dated more than Amy. Yeah. You know, I met this guy when I was 20 and yeah. I've dated more than you. <laughs> you know, I had my phase after my divorce. Yeah, he, yeah, he shook my world after twenty. So, yeah, and he's yeah. still shaking it. So, That's, I know, right? Because I'm a <laughs> tripod. Dave, you look like you had a hairball cut. I just, I'm sorry. I just I had a little punchki diabetes that just kicked in. I. I <laughs> All right. So, random thought, uh, Cass, Dave, do you guys have a last drunken confession that you want to ask anybody? Top of your head. And the top of my head's a halo because I'm so angelic. Right. Uh, so actually, not even necessarily a drunken confession, but I did. I loved hearing this story, uh, reading this story. Uh, so what is the one thing that you think has now permanently changed for you? Like the one thing that you don't think you're ever going to do again because of COVID? And like and like so the examples that I saw in the story were things like sharing chapstick, uh, you know, taking a bite of somebody else's food, uh, that kind of. So I, I was just curious. Oh, hitting somebody else's cigarette. <laughs> I wasn't going to say cigarette, but you know, yeah, because <laughs> usually you don't pass around cigarettes. Yeah, somebody else's ju- cigarette. <laughs> yeah, cigarette, cigarette. Yeah, you know that's it. It's so, like a weed. Um, yeah, yeah. No more puff, puff, pass, man. Puff, puff, keep. 
Um, I don't know. Amy, is there anything less you're going to do? Make out with strangers? There, There's a lot. That was on the list. Yeah, there's a lot, you know. Yeah, make out with random people. And I, and that's, and like, and that's the thing where I'm like, I did that all the time. You know? I, <laughs> but like, I, like, that's the thing where like, because, and it's funny because there was another story that I read uh, on Eater. That Eater, not eaterherd.com. Just, I, was just gonna, I, was I, 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 I saw you, I saw you choking, what? and so I wanted to clarify. I was before, yeah. just going to say that. Yeah, I, right, I, I, I saw I you want choking. To see the radiance on Eater. All right. Yeah. Um, hey, nine inch tongue breathes through his ears. Five stars. Uh, <laughs> no. So, uh, but they were talking about how basically not only are you know is is it the it's essentially the worst people on the planet are the ones that are going out to bars and restaurants right now. That's I mean that that's just a common theme that's been going on forever. Um, but number two. They, it was reinforced like they were like, look, and it, this was all like uh, restaurant bar employees and managers that had that were interviewed for this story. And they said, look, I get why 10 o'clock is the cutoff. Like people are bitching about it, but okay. at like people get dumb after 10 o'clock. Yeah. And it's it's the same thing I've said all along. The people are like, oh, it's stupid 10 o'clock. I'm like, no, dude, nobody's going out to eat at 10 o'clock. They're going out to drink. And when you drink, you get stupid and you get relaxed and you start forgetting about the restrictions and the rules and all that other crap. And that's what this article laid out. The whole making out with strangers thing. That was, yeah. Oh, I've done that. And I think that's how I passed COVID when I had it and I didn't know. Making I did out the, with you know, drinking wine. And I said to my daughter, oh, try this. You might like it. Yeah. So she got COVID too. But of course she could have gotten it because we hung out like all the time. Great because, mom you are. But not my fault. She's always over here. Not my <laughs> fault. I didn't, it wasn't my fault. I'm not taking responsibility for that. Shocker. But I do that all the time. I'll be like, oh, this tastes good. Try this. And not even thinking. You know? The, um, honestly, the, the thing that has really made me question a lot of uh, with COVID I don't know if I'm ever going to be comfortable on an airplane again. So here's the funny thing about that. Like, and they've said um, the trick is you want to make sure you're on an older plane. Like, so if you're on a plane that's old enough to still have like ashtrays in the armrests, Mm -hmm. you're good because those older planes were built with better ventilation, better ventilation systems um, as opposed to the newer ones. So fly spirit. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Well, even uh, going to the mall, Jeremy and I went to the mall last weekend and I just felt like, like I wanted to go to the mall. I wanted him to buy me jewelry. So I was like, yes, we'll go to the mall. Um, but I felt so gross, like leaving the mall. Like, I'm like, oh, there were so many people. Like, I don't care if there was so much hand sanitizer and masks. I don't, I think that has totally affected me for forever. No, I agree. Like I went grocery shopping and then on the way home from grocery shopping, I stopped and uh, got a uh, McDonald's fry. This wasn't too long ago. And I went to reach over to grab a, a fry and I'm like, nope, didn't wash my hands. Can't do it. Yep. You know, things like that, that I never would have paused before. Right. You know, had, it, had this been two years ago. I would have just eaten the fries without even thinking twice about washing my hands. Right. But now, but it's winter time, so now I just leave my gloves on while I'm in the store. Yeah. My my driving gloves that I wear, I just leave them on while I'm in the store. I have it so you know I the kind of gloves where you can still be on your phone and stuff like that. But yeah, I just leave my gloves on. Yeah, right funny. I was then actually, I don't go ahead. concern myself so much with washing my hands. Yeah, I was actually talking with one of our uh, one of our show hosts that's been taking a break during all this uh, over the weekend. And like everybody always kind of made fun of him and his wife a little bit when they came into the studio, Um, because, I mean, they were you know, they did a show with us for years and they always showed up. Um, His wife is Asian uh, and they always should. They were both wearing masks and all that other kind of stuff, you know, every every time, like like I said, even years ago. Um, And it's one of those things where, like, in hindsight, you're like, wow, you you were just smarter than all of us. (laughs) And that's it, too. You just you just I think you become more self-conscious now. Which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, 
I'm hoping that the vaccine works enough that we don't can stop wearing masks and things like that because those annoy me, make my face break out and all that. But Mask up my glasses. Is there anything but, there that? Um, no. Okay. Did we cover everything, Jeremy? All right. I, all right. so, is there a reason you're not talking tonight? You're just like so, nodding. So I think that's going to wrap up tonight's drunken confession. Okay. Um, so okay. I do have a great cheers. So okay. raise your drinks. Pain makes you stronger. Tears make you braver. Heartbreak make you wiser and vodka makes you forget all about that crap so cheers to that yes <laughs> cheers here here hooray right, <laughs> thanks for tuning in to another episode of drunken confessions woo uh, woo and so enjoyed. i hope you had some laughs and our next one is going to be Hold on. Our next one's going to be after your and I's birthdays. It's actually oh, yeah. the day after my birthday. So oh, well, then the happy birthday in advance. So, no, we're going to celebrate my birthday on the podcast because we're celebrating, Amy, celebrate Amy's birthday that Saturday. Okay. So, we're going to celebrate my 29th birthday on the podcast. <laughs> Bullshit. It's like what the the twentieth anniversary, the twentieth anniversary, uh, the twentieth anniversary, the the anniversary yeah, of your twenty ninth birthday can almost drink. Twentieth anniversary of her twenty ninth birthday. The fact that Jeremy finally decided to say something and it was just to say bullshit to that it's pretty <laughs> shitty, Jeremy. It's pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> it's, a, it's all he spoke the entire show is to yell bullshit when I claim to be twenty nine. Very nice. Again, for nice. tuning in to Drunken Confessions, we appreciate it. Spread the word, and if you guys want to be a guest, you know how to reach us. We're here. See ya. Hey, everybody! Thanks again for listening to our show tonight. If you want more information, you can find it at facebook.com/backslash My Drunken Confessions.